Ho ho, me hearties! A very good morning to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. Sunday morning, nothing gets past me, of course, and I just wanted to say a quick hi to all of you. I hope you are well and things are going well for you. This is what it is about. Do come and join us. We're live on TikTok. Quick pop up just to say hi to everybody. And last night's phone in was quite outstanding. We did have a technical problem with the phones later on, but it was just absolutely amazing. And for that, of course, I thank you all. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. How amazing is that? There we are. Do come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, now, lots and lots of people joining there. Trevor, David, Papa, Kuch, Daddy, Mr. Hula, there we are, Mr. Barra, Hobnob. <laughs> How wonderful to have you all with us on a Sunday morning. It's 9.45. That's a quarter to ten on Sunday, the 3rd of October, 2021. Morning, Scotty. Morning, motorbikes rock. How lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Okay, the news, says David. Thank you, too, David. Lovely to have you with us. Lots and lots and lots of likes this morning. How fantastic is that? Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Get everybody on here. This is the big one on TikTok. Remember, if you find Scotty McClure, you never, ever scroll past and you never, ever troll Scotty McClure. Apart from that, we will get on like a hoose. Unfair, as they say. Thank you very much. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Lots and lots of likes. There's somebody calling themselves Scotty McClue. Do be careful with that because we are heavily trademarked. Fantastic stuff. Uh, there we go. Thank you for all your lovely, lovely likes. Morning, Scotty. Good morning to you. Good to have you with us. And welcome to our Sunday morning TikTok. Now, I've uploaded a lot of lovely TikTok videos for you. So get yourselves onto these and enjoy. That's what it's all about. Follow me on here and, of course, pop on to the YouTube channel. You'll see the URL in front of you. And uh, make sure you subscribe and tap the bell so you can pick up the notifications for the phone-in. The phone-in is what is so big at the moment. Hello, Scotty, how are you? Says the wonderful Lahoub over in Ireland there, Lahoub. Lovely to have you with us. Did I hear something about someone wanting a statue of Margaret Thatcher last night? My God, has he lost his mind. What he was wanting, Lahoub, I don't know if he, um, he was meaning to put one in Dublin and Belfast and Londonderry as well. But he was saying that Scotland needs a statue of Margaret Thatcher in George Square. Edinburgh needs one in Charlotte Square or Princes Street. And uh, then he said all over the country these should be cast in bronze and sent all over the country for erection. Morning, Scotty boy. Can you say good morning to my little daughter, Catherine? I can, Catherine. Catherine McCarran, dinky do. I know your daddy, Brian. What a top man he is. And I remember your grandpa very well. Scotland needs fuel first, mate. There we are. Well, the fuel, that's only a delivery thing. That's tiny. Don't fash yourself over that. Just continue to stick in a tenner or twenty. If such a statue was put in Dublin or Derry, it wouldn't last five minutes, Scotty. Well, you don't know, you see. This is the interesting thing. Once we educate people and explain what she did and why we're putting the statue up. It might do very well in Derry. Do you support LGBT? Of course, LGBTQ. But we think it should be LGBTQS and include the straight people. What do you think of that? Cheers, matey. Not at all, Brian. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Do. Hello from the first, the fire. There we are, dinky do. There's Mr. Big on. Mr. Big is saying he's infertile. Mr. Big, it's not something we'd discuss on here, but I'm so sorry to hear that if that's not the way you want to be. Thank you, Dobby. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you. Dodds has just sent me a beautiful red rose, and now he's sending me TikToks. That's so kind of you, Dodds. Thank you. Morning from Fife. Morning, Fife. Dinky do. 
Thank you for five beautiful TikToks. There we are. Mr. Big says, his face says infertility. Absolutely, yes, indeed. And um, I heard about a chap that went into the doctor and said he was inquiring about a vasectomy, and the doctor said, I think with your face, you'll not need one. So maybe that's what's happened to you, Mr. Big. There we go. Good morning, sir, from the land of Argyle. Absolutely lovely to have you with us from Argyle. How beautiful. Lol, says Dodsey. Absolutely, Dodsey. Morning from Glasgow. Morning, Brian, from Glasgow. Dinky-doo. Now, last night on the Scotty McClue phone-in, we had somebody saying about statues of Margaret Thatcher. Dinky-doo, Scotty, from America, 3.50 a.m., a walk with nature. What are you doing up in the United States of America at 3.50 a.m.? You should be sound asleep, my dear, dear, dear fellow. There we are. Morning, good morning, morning from Stockport. Ah, Nathan, we love Stockport, the home of the Hatters. <laughs> what did you have for dinner last night, HBSA? Dinner was beautiful last night. Dinner? was fresh vine-ripened tomato sandwiches and a little cheese. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Thank you very, very much. Mr. Goatface, hello. Thank you for all your kindness. Mr. Goatface, I take it you know you're not muted in any way. Morning from Shropshire. I love Shropshire. Love Telford and Iron Bridge and round about that area. Do you know that well? Shrewsbury. As well, Shrewsbury. Is it Shrewsbury or Shrewsbury? How would you say it? Do tell. Spill the beans, I say. I love Shropshire. These sort of beautiful panoramic views. Such a green county. A Shropshire lad. Good morning from Dundee. We love Dundee, Thomas. Morning, Dinky you from Salcoats, Shrewsbury. Yes, is it Shrewsbury or Shrewsbury? There we are, because I would imagine it was the borough of the shrews at one point. How are you, Scotty? What are you doing today? Very, very busy today, Scott. A lot of people want to do, a lot of domestication to do, you know, which is always, let's face it, it's a bit of a bore, isn't it? All the hoovering and dusting, high dusting, that sort of stuff. I've got a lot of books to put away. A dear friend of mine passed away. And um, I've got some beautiful books that he's left, and I'm going to have a look at these. How about a statue of uh, Martin McGuinness in London, Scotty? That would be nice. Well, I don't see why not, because he was part of the peace process, wasn't he? Morning, Scotty, my main man. Keep up the good work. Hello from Pakistan. Hello, Yasa. We love having you with us from Pakistan. Very, very nice. Welcome, everybody in Pakistan to Scotty McClue's TikTok Lives. Every single TikToker should experience Scotty McClue's Lives. So spread the word, tell 10 to tell 10. Guys, I need followers like crazy. So can I have followers, please, and likes? Tap, 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 tap on your screens. Dinky do, dinky do, that's why I mention him. Also, Jerry Adams was part of it, yes, but he's still with us, La Hoop. So I don't think we'll be putting up a statue. But I think Thatcher would go well in Derry because Derry is such, and it's, well, it's really a British city, isn't it? Let's have it straight as is Belfast. And I think, did Dublin not used to have Lord Nelson right in the centre of, was it in O'Connell Street or was it in one of the big squares? I'm sure they had Nelson's column right in the centre of Dublin. Yeah, but do tell us. London Derry says Dulin. Yes, we must not forget London Derry. So there we are. Dinky do, ya bunny. Dinky do, S. McLean. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Fantastic. Does everybody now call it London Derry or is there still a bit of Derry, London Derry, London Derry, Derry, that kind of thing? Got to disagree with you. Derry's as Irish as Kerry or Cork. Well, absolutely, but you see, um, yes, nobody's denying they're Irish, but remember that Ireland was for, oh, hundreds and hundreds of years part of Britain, you know, so, I mean, you know, we, we need to acknowledge these things as well. My gran used to like you. I thought you were dead, 
And does my grand still, does your grand still like me or is your grand no longer with us? No, no. I, I don't think I'm dead. We don't want that again, you know. Scotty, what's for breakfast? Well, it's a Sunday. So there's going to be eggs involved and there's going to be toast involved. There we are. All right, Scotty, how's the morning? Did you do, Chris? How wonderful to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome from Scotty McClue. Uh, Sunday roast, absolutely. Well, no, I'm not doing a roast. I'll tell you what I quite often used to do. Go out for a carvery. You see, Sunday morning for me was from 10 o'clock till midday for years. The Sunday morning phone in on the radio. So by lunchtime, I would wander around. When I stayed down in Yorkshire, I would wander around to the old hall and I would have a Sunday carvery in the Chinese drawing room, dining room, I should say. Drawing room. We shout out to Emma Scotty, dinky do Niall. Lovely to have you with us and welcome. Who's the man on the wall? The man on the wall, the Scotty McClure. The man in the hall. These were presents to me. By well wishers. There's another one there, you see. Isn't that the stuff for you? I don't know. Now, I think history will treat McGuinness very well. People will look back in time and have more respect. Are they a bit harsh on him still at the moment? Well, he's met the Queen, so that's in his favour. And, uh, you know, and uh, they seem to get on very well. You know, I'm not sure if she was having a bit of... Um, dark humor when he said, how are you? And she said, well, I'm still alive. So there we go. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Dinky do. Good for him. Yes, absolutely. How's he viewed over by Lahub? Big Scotty McClure, says Paul Greenock, the main man himself. Yes, I like to pop up and see you all, guys. It's good manners. You know, if nothing else, Sunday morning, a quick chat with Scotty McClure won't do you any harm. Now, just to put you in the picture, the internet phone-in is growing and growing and growing. Sadly, last night, we had a problem with the telephones, which it took me till about 1 o'clock in the morning to sort out. So we lost the last few minutes, but it is absolutely massive. Now, it's going to be really huge, guys. Can I seriously, seriously urge you to get yourselves on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel? It's right in front of you there, just below my bio. And subscribe and tap the bell. Do that because then you'll get your notifications. Or if you're a Twitch person, Scotty underscore McClue on Twitch. Get yourselves on there. It depends who you ask, of course. He's viewed quite badly from some quarters and highly by others. There's been a shortage of McClue's pies and Falkirk. The drivers can get the fuel for McClue's pies. Oh, my goodness. A fleet of wagons out there with McClue's pies. It's nice that someone on here has a good conversation, not sitting there putting makeup on. Hey, Billy Wills, I know what you mean. I haven't seen many other lives because we're obviously doing them ourselves right here. But apparently it's a lot of silly wee girls putting makeup on. And what makes these women on TikTok think we're interested in seeing them flouncing around? So I think we should put a stop to flouncing. There we are. And, um, you know, some of them, some, I mean... Really, you know, some women thinking they're it and a bit dancing and stuff. What for? I mean, I can understand Scotty McClue doing a Scottish country dance for you or teaching you a Scottish country dance. Maybe a wee dashing white sergeant or uh, an eightsome reel or a foursome reel or uh, the Lancers or Petronella or Hamilton House or the Duke of Perth. You know, the Grand March. I can imagine all these things, but these silly girls dancing around thinking anybody's going to watch that. Scroll, scroll. Nobody ever scrolls past Scotty McClue. Uh, you could maybe set a new trend by just general chat rather than makeup or shaving. Well, I'll not be doing any shaving, I don't think. And I don't use makeup at all now. Maybe just a wee bit blusher if I was going out, you know. <laughs> I used to have to wear makeup on television, and uh, it was a, a sort of what we called pancake 
to take the shine off your face because the television cameras in those days, you would absolutely gleam back at them with a shiny face. And I was very young and fit in those days, so I was even more shiny and gleamy. So what I would do was pop on this um, this makeup, you know, a, a wee bit number seven. Anyway, one night after a shift, I was going home on the late bus in Aberdeen. I forgot to take the makeup off. And I also forgot that everybody on that bus knew me from the television because I'd just read the late news on ITV. And I was sitting on a late night bus in Aberdeen on a Friday night <laughs> with an orange face. Oh, my goodness. What part of Scotland are you from, Muzzy Penguin? I'm from all of Scotland. I am Scotland personified, but I'm in the West Coast at the moment. Uh, so there were, how can four million jocks sustain their own country? Well, it's nearly six million jocks. They've sustained their own country for thousands of years. They've had a 313-year blip when they've been robbed absolutely blind by the union. And, um, you know, they send £75 billion a year direct to Westminster, which they could stick in their pockets. And they uh, build their economy back in Scotland. Hello from Bears Den. We, Mrs. Woman, we love you in Bears Den and Dinky Do. Are you at the Buccleer? Or are you at the Mulgai? There we are. Hello from Skegness. We love you in Skegness. Good morning, Sir Scotty. Good morning, Scotty Dinky Do. Sue, lovely to have you with us from Holland, of course, from our Dutch friend from Holland. I, I used to go to the Hoek van Holland from Harich, Harich in, uh, in this country. There you are, Dinky Doo. Hello, Daz. There we are, Nikki. Hi, fellow Glaswegian. Have you ever tried fish and chips in Oban? Many, many a time. I've also dined at Sorba House. I've also dined at the old manor house. I've had lunch in the Rowan Tree. There we are. I've had a pint in the Loch of Ullen. <laughs> Where are you from, Uncle? I'm the man from Uncle, so I can't give you too much information. Diddly doo, diddly doo, diddly doo, 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 doo. Yes, Mr. Waverley. Yes, I'll show you. I'll show you my man from Uncle badge. Uh, fantastic. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. We need to build our followers. Get yourselves onto Scotty McClue's YouTube channel in preparation for the phone in. The internet phone in is four weeks old and it's growing and growing massively. So there we are. So never ever miss the internet phone in, guys. Uh, it's on uh, YouTube. It's on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. It's on LinkedIn Live and it's on Facebook Live. So there you are. So get on to Scotty McClue and get going. Uh, would you do the Scott FM phone in again if it all happened again, Scotty? Instantly, in a minute. And I said to Van, a very, very senior, one very senior media person, I said, if I went on live on that frequency tonight, would the audience return? Because it was almost a quarter of a million watching per half hour. And he said, instant, instant. So very interesting. And what we've done on the internet is introduced Scotty McClue to a new generation of people. So I'm coming up 30 years in June of Scotty McClue phone-ins, 30 years. And we're on the internet with a phone-in. What's not to like, I say. There we are. Uh, yes. Who have we got here? Black Country. I don't know what you're on about, Rab. Who's Rab? There we are. Yesterday I participated in a 303 shoot and won a silver geodog. You're always going to win because you are a crack shot. The point 303, is there a fair kick off that? Is that not what they used to use for deer stocking or still do? Yes, is that a deer, a good deer rifle? It's my husband's birthday. Um, so there we are. Daz Jones, dinky do. I'll show you mine if you'll show me yours. He says, we're talking about our man from Uncle Badges. Yes, he's obviously a secret serviceman. Scotty, 
uh, Scot Scotland must get its independence up the Scots. Absolutely, Lahoub. These halfwits that come on thinking, how could you sustain yourself? Probably the richest country in the world. It's a bit like the halfwits that go on about Africa and India and say these countries are so poor. They're absolutely falling down with resources. You know, it's just they need to get them up to the top. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. And, of course, all this green stuff is probably going to affect the oil, but the prices are sky high at the moment. And there's about another thousand years of coal, gas, oil, all that stuff. So, you know, there's no need for us to be losing it too much. I'm a stone's throw from the academy. Didn't you do, my friend? I know exactly where you are, my friend. We Mrs. Woman. Have a great day. Halfwits is right, Scotty. They are the total halfwits. They don't understand, you know. It's it's all to do with resources. The Queen affirmed the union yesterday. Wrong patch. Wrong, 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 wrong. The Queen, twenty one years ago, twenty two years ago, graciously granted parliamentary sovereignty to the Scottish people. The Queen would need to approve independence. Now, she's not going to do that if there's any whiff of republicanism. So these people just need to go away quietly and fade away. Any of your anti-monarchists are anti-Scots, anti-independence, anti-everything. Now, it's happened before. These people don't realize it because they know nothing of history. And if you even look at the history of the Scottish nationalist movement, you'll see that they've done very well in fits and starts and then lost it because of anti-monarchism, being perceived as anti-monarchist, all that stuff. So it will never do because you're immediately isolating 50% of the vote who are royalists and monarchists. So the Queen did not affirm the union. She affirmed that she is the head of state in Scotland. And that does never, ever, ever change because uh, her heirs and successors will take over in perpetuity when she's finished with that. Look what happened to Collins because of it. Because of what poeticality? Tell us more. Scotty McClure, didn't you do? He's a bit of a top man, actually, Collins in his own way. I spilled hot my tea in my legs yesterday. Sue, you must never, ever do that. My grandmother made you put milk in first in case a child pulled a cup of tea. She had five children, and she always put milk in first so it would cool the tea. So there you are. Excellent stuff. What do you like to do for fun, Scotty? I like to talk to you, we Mrs. Woman, live on TikTok on a Sunday morning. That's always great fun. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClure, dinky do. are you a laird? I'm not actually a laird. I don't own land, but I'm the first lord of the internet. Hashtag flow time. I'm from Dumbarton, Aaron. You couldn't have anything finer than coming from Dumbarton, the shipbuilding capital of the world in its day. The tune of the elephant. My favorite teacher ever was a Dumbartonian. Have I said that right? And I was supposed to have gone to Kiel School. Have you ever heard of Kiel School? It's uh, just up the road there. It's the old Helen's Lee House. I think it's been built in the grounds. There we are. The IRA killed their proprietor when he settled to have peace with Parliament. Ah, so you think the IRA definitely shot Michael Collins. You see, these political people, the IRA, could have had the empathy. See, when they murdered Lord Mountbatten, that was the end of the IRA for good, forever and a day. I know there's a handful of thugs trying to say they're part of it nowadays, but they'll never be. The Irish people will never, ever, ever tolerate that because they were just shocked, absolutely shocked. I had to send a halfway down the Swanee yesterday for not knowing his own country's history. There we are. And in fact, it's so ironic because Lord Mountbatten was one of the one people, one people, on persons, one people, one person on the planet who would have understood 
a search for freedom because he gave India, he facilitated India's freedom at midnight in 1947. Now, okay, Britain's never been good at leaving its old colonies and crown protectorates. Not a good track record. But, you know, and and splitting the Punjab, heartbreaking. You know, but India was very, very difficult. But I can tell you something, and I don't know that many people will know this. The whole history of India would have been different if people had known about a secret in a safe. All right? That's all I'm going to say. Some, If anybody knows about it, come on and tell us. Oh, thank you. We misses women. Not at all. I want to see if you can pronounce my name. So there we are. Yes, of course I can pronounce your name. Not a problem at all. When it comes to Irish politics and heroes, Collins is at top of the tree for me, says Lahoop. Well, he was a big, handsome guy with the Irish people at his heart. I'm a burly bloke, says Geodog, but after 50 rounds, my shoulder starts to feel. The ye old 303s bite. I think they'll have a good kick, actually, there, yes. Do you keep them nice and firm and nice and, nice and hard in? Fantastic. I'm hard into the shitter. What do you do? I broadcast and I live stream. Yes, absolutely. I inform. I educate. I entertain. Yes, indeed. He sought to bring freedom through diplomatic resolution, and the idealists killed him. This is the problem. I mean, look at Gandhi. Imagine some complete half-wit shooting the Mahatma. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful man. A man of true principle. What happened to Gandhi he was a lawyer in South Africa in 1908. And uh, two guys threw him off a train because of his color. And he said, I've got a ticket. I'm a lawyer. They went, it doesn't matter. You shouldn't be in here. So they threw him off the train. And that's when he said, this has to change. And it did. There we are. Fantastic. Anyone having a roast Sunday dinner? Yes. Fighting beside them, says Poeticality. There we are. Poeticality says the new IRA is a joke. It's not actually a joke. It's a tragedy that even anybody could think that way in 2021. Uh, the, the good people of Ireland need to start moving forward, not just stick themselves 100 years ago. You know, because remember the... Um, anniversary of the Irish Free State and the annexation of the six counties is going to be coming up next year. Am I not correct? There we are. I want to say yes, absolutely. Can you please say with feeling, there can only be one. <clears throat> there can only be one. There can only be one. Scotty McClue. Yes, indeed. But they shall take our freedom. No, they shan't take our freedom. We have our freedom. What we've done, though, we've surrendered our freedom with Brexit to a handful of hoorey Henrys that are nothing to do with the people. It's abandoned. It's derelict. People set on fire. It's so sad. What is Aaron? So there we are. Tell us more. Uh, exactly. Hello from Georgia. We love you in Georgia. Is that Georgia, America, or Georgia out in the East? Peanut butter, buddy. Um, I don't mind. It's a little bit dry for me, but I like the really good quality stuff. We love good quality. Do tell. There we are. Fred Dibner. I loved Fred Dibner. Is he not outstanding? Did you play any sports, Scotty? Used to be a big rugby man. Yes, front row tight head prop. And uh, also, I uh, sometimes second row as well, give them a good shove. And uh, also, rowing. And I put that down in my CV. People thought it was rowing and sailing. So that's rather good, isn't it? There we go. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Uh, the IRA is finished. There's no new IRA. Quite right. And thank God. There we are. Now... What have we got here? William, no, no, it wasn't. 
Does anybody know what was in the safe in India that would have changed the whole history of the world? There we are. The British Army enjoyed using Northern Ireland as an urban warfare training. I know I don't think they did, Charlie. So there we go. I don't think they did. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, deaths on both uh, sides. Colin sought an Irish Republic settled for a lack of infiltration with the opportunity. Yes, I think you see it's interesting because the founder of um, the founder of Sinn Fein was it Arthur Griffiths that founded Sinn Fein? Am I right? He was a huge monarchist. He wasn't terribly keen on the. Um, on the uh, Hanoverian succession. Same as America. See, America wanted a monarchy. Ireland wanted a monarchy. The crown of Ireland, I think, does it still come under the British crown at the Union of the Crowns? Uh, you know, it may well still be about the Kuanur. Fantastic, the Kuanur. Wow. Speak for Ireland. I do indeed. Yes, I speak for everyone on here. I am a political and I look after every day. So there we go. Now what have we got here? I saw good morning from the Philippines. Good morning every day. Thank you for sharing the video. Can we have a follow fest please? Follow me. Very, very important. Follow Scotty McClue. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Two Sundays ago we got 40,000 likes just by popping up. There we are, but do follow us as well. The only thing is I'm not sure if we get too many likes if it triggers the bot to think that there's a bot doing it. Do you know what I mean? There's a possibility there could be something because I've noticed we've got huge, huge responses recently, but the big audiences are down a bit on TikTok Live. I've noticed that. Uh, for Scotty McClue. Hi, sir. Good morning from the Philippines. I did say to them yesterday, um, you know, could you just check, please, that we are getting the numbers? And they said, yes, we value all high quality content. So I thought that was rather good, wasn't it?